All right, so um, I'm here for another unboxing, uh, another Fanatec unboxing, as a matter of fact. Today we've got the Podium Button Module Endurance. Um, I've been racing or driving with this uh, R300 wheel with the Podium Hub, Quick Release, and the Advanced Paddle Shifter Module. Um, but one thing I've realized after purchasing all these pieces and before I got this, um, is I have no way of using the second clutch um, for the uh, launches for standing start races. So you have to have a module that has a display. Well, hence now this. Um, so I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna put it together and uh, we're gonna give it a try. Probably a little bit cheaper to do it in a bundle deal. But in the end, we'll get there. <laughs> so again, everything's packaged very nicely. Yeah. Very nice. And again, endurance. And, uh, ooh, nice. So we have a quick start guide. Looks like we've got the some button stickers here. And of course, the obligatory sheet of Fanatec uh, label. So now I've got like, <laughs> like, you know, three or four different sheets of Fanatec <laughs> stickers now. Um, but we are gonna use that quick start, guys. Let me grab that. I'll deal with the buttons and stick, button stickers and stuff label later. Put that with the pile. Move this quick start guide out and button labels. All right, a little adapter which I won't be needing based on the videos I've seen because this is going to bolt or bolt connect directly to the um, advanced paddle module. Right. We do have uh, our screws, the longer ones. Now, here is the main part. Nice little, little bag here. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, wow. That is a pretty nice unit. Kind of like it. So here's that. This is the connection that's going to go to the bottom of our podium hub. It is a USB-C, but it's not the typical USB-C. It's specifically for this, right? So that's nice. I like that. Nice and light too, so it's not going to add a whole lot of weight. I mean, there's, it's, it's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. It's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap, right? So that's good. So I'm going to put that there. Now, one concern that I have, is the screws here, right? So I see they gave us these screws here and they're all, they got the black tips on it. I really like my gold ones here on this R300. So I'm hoping I can keep these, but if not, it's not the end of the world, right? So before I start unscrewing stuff, let's just take a quick look here. All right, easy peasy. Let's get this undone here. Now, um, one of the things I'm gonna end up doing is because I have, I have these button modules, right? Um, that I had purchased to go with this wheel because I didn't have any buttons. Well, now I've got this, so I don't need these. So I have to take apart the podium hub to get these disconnected and everything. So that'll take a little extra time, but this looks like a very straightforward installation here. So let me just undo these. These may not be long enough. Nope, doesn't look like it. Because they have to go through, you know, the front here. And yeah, just not long enough. Well, you can see, but yeah, they're just gonna be short. And considering you still gotta have the, the width of the steering wheel, so. Oh well, that's unfortunate. But like I said, not the end of the world. All right, so let's get this done. 
I've uh, been using the wheel for a little while now. Well, I say a little while, maybe about a month or two, less than a month. Um, and I really like it. Uh, I've been racing the Porsches. I was racing the uh, RSR, not the RSR, sorry, GT3R. And then with the Cup, um, I just bought that because it looked fun. And it is. But, uh, you know, with the Cup, they use standing starts. And there's other, other cars that do as well, different races and whatnot. I cannot use the um, secondary clutch um, in order to get good launches. So, uh, because I have no way of setting the bite point, they call it, with using the, you know, the, the secondary clutch buttons here, or shifters here, paddles, okay? So, but now that I have this with the display that's on it, um, I'll definitely be able to um, set that. And that's gonna be just cool. <laughs> that's just gonna be cool. Okay, so let's see. So I gotta get this little cover off to get these button modules off. And I happen to have, I believe, the correct tool. No! All right. Yeah, when, um, so yeah, so these tools came with just about every other piece of Fanatec gear that I've gotten. Um, no tools here, but then I guess it's because they assume you already have the tools for, you know, mounting that too. So no biggie there. All right. So yeah, I just got to do these three screws for this cover. I've been kind of holding off on doing this, so I'm really excited to get this done. Uh, Cause I want to do a video just having that time, you know, working from home and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, so let me get in here. So you'll see there's a lot of wiring crammed in there, but down here at the bottom are the two for the, those little button pods, right? So that's where I just got to disconnect and that will just be free. Uh, those connections, I just won't be using them now. Right, so let me get some of this wiring out of the way. All right, so button modules. Um, so this maybe a little better than it was, not as crammed in there. And this can go in a little better as well. Yeah, that looks a little better. I like that. I do. All right, so we'll put this back on. That is the top. There we go. So really had to get those wires out of the way. It's not a, it's not an easy thing. Cool. All right. So, all back in there, nice and neat. Just the wires for the uh, paddle shifters. Now are all that's in there. All right. All right. So this little connection. See, it's a uh, USB C. That's the one that goes into the bottom right there. So pretty, pretty straightforward. It's not, a, it's not rocket science. All right, so okay. Yeah, I have to stand up just to make sure these holes line up. At least the first one. And the rest will should fall into place. So let's see. is really what's going to help because that's what I need to set that bite point. It'd be nice if Fanatec had included that in the software and I saw many posts about that when I went searching before I realized yeah it's just you just got to have uh, a wheel or a hub with a display but yeah they haven't done so yet. So very very nice very good buttons here so we got two right here in easy reach of your thumbs huh expected a little more of a definitive button push but that's okay um, but yeah not too bad then we've got some multi-position joystick type and same here up and down okay so those are just up and down 
and yeah, more buttons here. And then of course, the dial. Oh, that's pretty good. Definitely a definitive click or position or nothing that's gonna make you miss something. Now, one of the concerns I saw, and this is even mentioned on Fanatec's website, is the distance here because this, this display module, this hub is usually meant for the uh, Porsche wheel, which is like 320 millimeter, right, across. This is only 300. So we're losing 10 millimeters on each side. So one of the, I guess, concerns is the clearance for the hand between these two. So, and, and I, they provide you this little template that you can print out, um, which I did and I tried it. It didn't seem so bad, but obviously it's paper, so it's just a little bit different. So let me put my gloves on and I'll see if I have any concerns about uh, clearance. It doesn't look like it. All right, so I'm gonna drive in here, fingers there. My thumbs are kind of, you can see, kind of just rubbing up against the edge. So I can see that being a wear point for me anyway, All right? But perfect access to these two buttons on the bottom. Actually, let me come around here. Yeah, good access here. Slight roll of the hands to get to these top ones. And of course these, you know, I'm gonna be moving a hand off the wheel or something to that effect to get to any of those. But really these two are perfect. My thumbs are in here. They're kind of rubbing, like I said, but it's not too bad. So I keep my thumbs just above that, you know, above the, uh, the spoke there, fingers on the paddle shifters. And then I can, you know, for the initial start, let go and then let go and there we go. All right, so pretty easy. Didn't take long at all, uh, as most of the stuff with Fanatec. It's been it was pretty straightforward, pretty simple, right? So we're gonna get hooked up to the rig, to the rig, and we're gonna give it a shot and just see how it feels. Uh, I think uh, the Porsche Cup is at the Red Bull ring, so I put in some practice laps prior to this. So we'll have to configure some buttons and stuff, but other than that, uh, we're gonna get on the rig and see how it goes. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're in the rig, got the wheel connected. Uh, we are at the Red Bull ring. Um, it's been a few days since I shot the video of putting it together, but uh, we're here. I've been able to put in some practice already, done a couple of races actually with this. Um, and so right up front, happy to report, no issues at all. This thing is, is great. Uh, I haven't had a chance to practice the launching with in a race yet. Haven't been comfortable with it yet. Uh, but I did get some things set up, so I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about that while I'm here. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, so I'm going to just do a lap around. I'm going to come up to a starting position and just kind of demonstrate the launch control real quick using the uh, the paddle shifters, the, the clutch uh, shifters on the bottom here. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to get loaded in here. This is red. I got, I got a bunch of buttons already um, set up for ignition, for start. My pit limiter, limiter. limiter turned on. you can hear my, my uh, Dre voice attack there going on. So we're just going to go out. And we'll get around to the other side. Uh, at, while we're making our way around, um, I gotta say the Porsche Cup uh, is a fun, fun car. I'm still, I'm only a C class at the moment, I think 1400 I rating or something like that. Uh, but I'm learning and it's fun. And I've had some, I've had a couple of good races. I've had a bad one, you know, get caught up in other people's stuff, show timing, you know, things like that. But and you know, just learning how drive the car that's another huge thing for me this is a huge departure from oval racing but it's been fun and understanding the car and what it needs and being able to feel it now a little bit more I'm starting to get connected with 
all the inputs, sensory inputs that I have, my eyes, my ears, and now what I'm feeling in here, that I can feel in here, which I never felt before in my G27. So, whoops, see, shifted too much, how far? Um, so yeah, so it's been a, it's been a fun experience getting up to speed, learning this, figuring out the buttons and the equipment and stuff. All right, so we're going to come right up here. All right, so here's the scenario. I'm at the start line, right? Car's running. I'm not going to use my feet on the clutch. So you can see the camera there. I'm going to pull in both paddle shifters. And that's going to activate the clutch. You can see that on my pedal screen. Um, you know, right there in the middle. That the clutch engages. I'm going to put it in gear. And then the scenario is you nail the gas. Lights go green. Right? So, so basically, let me turn this off for a second. Pulling both shifters, right? Red lights are on. Nail the throttle, full throttle. Both paddles are in. Release. As soon as the, the lights turn green, release the right one. Car starts to roll. Then start to release the right, the left one. If I get my right from my left, correct? Release the left one slowly like you would if your foot was on the pedal. And then that gets you going. That gets you the good starts without all the wheel spin, right? So that's the intent. So let me try it here again now one thing i've noticed is if you do it too many times in a row it doesn't like it the car doesn't like it so i assume the clutch is heating up or something along those lines so but anyway uh red lights come on pull in the clutch paddles full throttle lights put it in gear lights go green release the right uh, release the left and off i go all right almost forgot to put it in gear. See, this is all new, but it's fun. Um, so again, clutch in, in gear, lights are red, nail the throttle, light goes green, release the right, release the left. Whoop, little, I, I released too fast. So you still gotta release it slow. And I can adjust it too, so let me try that real quick here. So the adjustment is, Pull them both in, release the right, use the knob here, uh, one of the pa the joysticks to kind of move the display down. I did have it at 60. Now I'm just going to drop it to 59, right, just to get a little more clutch slippage, and then go ahead and release the left pedal, right? So uh, get it out of gear, start it up. Wait till everything comes on, pulling the paddles, in gear, nail throttle. There we go. Yeah. So it's just gonna, it's going to take some practice. Um, I'm still a noob at this stuff, but but the potential is there to just, for this to be so cool. Get excellent starts, and then the rest is just learning the track and everything like that. But I could not have done it uh, without the advanced pedal shifter and the uh, pedal or the module endurance here um, from Fanatec. And it's it, they're great. I love them. Uh, I did have not noticed any issues with my thumbs, by the way. I know that I mentioned that in the previous earlier on in the video, but uh, the, the the buttons are in good spots down here. You know, I've got to move hands to make adjustments, but shifters I can get with my my, my fingers. The, these top buttons are in range of my thumbs, and it's just a great wheel. I love it so. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this has been fun to make for me. I'm still kind of getting used to how this all works. Uh, but if you like the video, please uh, give a thumbs up. As you all know, that helps. And also, if you really like all the content that I, I have on my channel, uh, please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. Uh, that'll let you know whenever I do another one. And I hope to do more uh, as time allows and as I learn more things and uh, that I want to share with you all. So, but anyway... Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, please enjoy uh, the rest of your day. And as always, live well, laugh often, and love always. Take care.